All right, this one's gonna be on Tor Socks. It's a program to allow you to access the Tor network. Um, if you ever used the Tor web browser, um, hopefully you guys heard of it at least. But this will allow you to access the deep web and dark web if you have like URLs to it. But let's say for example, we do uh, what is that, Tor here. And if you run this website, check.torproject.org, it'll tell you if your browser is configured to use the Tor network properly. So it says, congratulations, um, this browser is configured to use Tor and give you your IP address here, your fake one or whatever. Um, now with Tor Socks, you can do the same thing with GUI or even command line programs. So let me show you what I mean by that here. If I'd use uh, Tor Socks and I use my own um, web browser, I would use the GUI here. Midori. I tried this with Firefox and Chromium. Apparently, those are not compatible, but look at this. If I use it with Midori, all right, um, we can use like our own browser to use the Tor network. So, congratulations, this browser is going to use Tor. And now I can browse like you know any of those onion um, network or whatever and it's your IP address it says however uh, it does not appear to be Tor browser so um, if you're using a GUI I probably recommend you use you know the uh, original Tor browser right but mainly what I want to use this program for is um, uh, what was that to use it with W3M my command line web browser so if I do Tor socks, W3M, right? And we'll go to that same site here. And it should tell us that it's configured. Let's see here, line number four here. Congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor. They give you your IP address. And since this one's uh, W3M, it's so JavaScript is disabled, right? You get the idea. Now, if I want to uh, access any of those. Onion network uh, or onion sites like Pirate Bay and all that. We do the Pirate Bay here. All right, so this is the Pirate Bay. Like normally, if I access the the Pirate Bay without you know Tor configured, it will not work. So look at this, this is the site, and you can see that it don't it don't work, right? <clears throat> uh, we'll see in a minute here. All right, so it doesn't understand like the Tor. Uh, Onion website or anything like that. So if I do that in here, let's say we do that again here. Uh, what was that two? We'll paste this in. And so this is our site here, right? So this is for the Pirate Bay uh, in the Tor network or the Onion network. And you see, there you go. We're in the Pirate Bay, and we're gonna access it. Uh, you know, top 100 or whatever. We'll see here. 74. That 100, and here's our links for our, our magnet links and all that. All right, uh, for torrents from the Pirate Bay. So, I think what was that in the past couple of months or something like that uh, either the U.S. is blocking the Pirate Bay or the Pirate Bay is blocking the whole U.S. So you can't really connect it uh, normally. I mean, there's a lot of mirrors, but if you want to go to the official site, uh, you can actually access it through the Tor network because they have you know the you know their own onion website and all that on there so if you want to access the Pirate Bay using the Tor network there you go right uh, you can use other websites too if you want so for example um, what was that uh, Tor network if I want to use like uh, the torch search engine all right we'll see here we'll open it soon this one is the torch and there we go we have our torch here and let's say we're searching for I don't know uh, SNES ROMs how about that and we'll search for it and there we go we have a few sites here for ROMs I believe I don't know what language that is. probably Russian right and you can go in there and this is all from Tor, right? What was that? What was the other one down here? So you get the idea. This is the Tor network. What else do we have in here? Just to, uh, we have SciHub, 
I think this one's still up, I'm not sure. We'll paste that in, see if it works. What else we got? We got uh, Tor Network. We have, what was this one? The Hidden Wiki. We'll do that in the one here. See if that one works. There you go, Hidden Wiki, right? So that's another one for uh, the Tor Network. Uh, that I think that's pretty popular, I'm not sure. I don't really use it that much. I barely just got into the tour stuff, mainly because some of these sites are, you know, getting blacklisted and all that, and I still want to access them. Uh, but when you're using tour, there's a lot of dangerous shit in here. You know, there's like illegal, um, what was that? Uh, illegal guns, drugs, counterfeit stuff, uh, prostitution. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, there's a, there's a few good stuff too, like, uh, whistle blowing and stuff like that but mostly it's illegal shit uh, so be careful where you go right um, but that is the tour network in a nutshell um, anything else want you say about that not really right so that's tour socks you can use it with GUIs some of them uh, command lines definitely so you can use it with W3M I think E-Links and curl and some of the other ones that you can access you know the internet from uh, I can use it with uh, Tor socks. Now Tor socks, if if you see like something like it says uh, Torify, it's pretty much the same thing. I think it's like a wrapper for it. So if you see Tor socks or Torify, they're pretty much um, the same thing, right? Um, it just calls on to a different name or something like that. But Tor socks is where is that really? So if you see Torify or Tor socks, they're pretty much talking about the same thing, right? Anyways, how do you uh, enable this here so make sure you have I mean Tor socks uh, install right should be in your repository so install Tor socks or if you just install the Tor browser it should come with Tor socks I'm not really sure on that but Tor socks is what you need and to configure it what is that uh, what's it called it should be in etc was in the bottom here etc tor dot not dot etc tor tor rc right in here what you gotta do is uh uh comment is um well it's commented out but uncommented and it should say uh control port 9051 and the other one it says cookies authentication change it to zero and that's what you gotta do in there now if you're using uh system t oh is that not system uh system d yeah you do sudo system ctl start and then tor service uh, something like this let me see here mine's already started so let's say I do a restart how about that let's see here what the hell am I doing sudo I'm messing up here restart and then tor Right, services here, right? So normally if you start this the first time, it would just be start uh, tour service. And it should take like, I'd probably say maybe 10, 20 seconds or something like that just to get the tour set up. And then from there, you can use it, you know, however you want, uh, tour socks, W3M or something like that. Or you can use curl and other um, command line programs that allows you to access, you know, the internet and stuff like that uh, using the tour network. Anyways, um, that is Tor in a nutshell. And if you want to access, you know, sites within the dark web, or if you have URLs to the deep web, uh, you can do that too. Anywho, that's it for this one.